a time came for me to trade forex right a time came for me to trade forex now now i had two options option number one was to look for somebody to teach me how to trade right but problem at that time was that uh, you know there's nothing for free right uh, those guys were charging they were charging like about five thousand or so so i had a choice to take five thousand pay for classes learn how to trade and then after that take ten thousand and trade with it you know but at the same time i'm like you know what especially a uh, ref wayne i've seen his pictures before this guy was poor before but slowly he developed and transformed himself into the millionaire or the billionaire that he is today right i'm like i can do this i'm gonna use these guys to motivate myself to do this right so i didn't pay for 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 any classes by the way i didn't pay for any classes but i was learning each and every day from these guys by just looking at their pictures I was learning, listening to their videos. I was learning, making notes, motivating myself. You know, what I'm trying to say to you is that it's not a must for you to pay anyone to teach you how to trade. If you want to learn how to trade, you can do it on your own. It all, it's all in your mind, honestly. You can do it on your own, right? Because nobody can actually make you successful. And at the same time, I was asking myself, Hori, why... Don't these guys teach us how to trade for free because they are making money already. But me being me today, I can reassure you, for as long as you are not fucking there for me when I was poor, I'm not going to give you anything for free. I was alone. You must be alone as well. There is nothing for free. Nothing for free. So at that time, I didn't understand why these guys don't they teach us for free. But me going through the experiences that i've went through alone keep in mind when you lose money in forex you lose money alone nobody cares but as soon as you make profit everybody is on your back teach me how to trade uh, teach us for free because you're making money fuck you bro where the fuck were you when i was blowing accounts alone having sleepless lights lying to my parents all these years where the fuck were you you are nowhere to be found now that i'm making money you are here fuck you dog Fuck you. You can say whatever you want to say. You can go to wherever you want to go. Fuck you. I ain't going to teach you shit for free. There's nothing for free. Even if I make 100 billion, you can never get anything for free. Never. I've learned that. It's, it's pain. It's, it's pain working through success. It's pain. And you can't share certain things with, with people. That is the pain of success. At that time, I didn't understand why. So I've opened an account i've opened an account under xm xm was the first forex broker that i've used i've actually found xm on google so i just googled top 10 forex brokers and i found xm as being a part of the list and the main mistake that i made the main mistake that i made was to enter into forex without knowledge of what i'm doing that is the first mistake that i made now today we have traders who look at us and they look at us the following week they open a trading account they want to trade forex that is a mistake you know we have people who look at this forex trading thing from a distance and they try it and then they fail and then they say it's a scam just because they failed that is their mistake you know and I've made that mistake. So I deposited $1,000. $1,000 was equivalent to 15,000 rands at that time, according to the exchange rate. So I've opened an account under XM and so forth. So my account was approved. Uh, looking at the calendar, uh, when I've opened the account, it was on a Friday, I think. It was on a Friday in 2016. Uh, I'm trying to get the date, but somewhere around the fourth the second of february that's when i i started trading forex it was on oh it was on the first yeah the first of april 2016 that is when i've opened my forex trading account a real account 
I never traded a demo account, right? I started with a real account. That is my first mistake. That is the first mistake that I made. Trading without knowledge, not understanding what I was doing, you know, in the name of wanting to make money, in the name of wanting to be rich. Now, I've deposited $1,000. Monday, I, I remember uh, people were coming back from Moria. I remember it was Good Friday, just after Good Friday, somewhere there. On the Tuesday, the 5th of uh, April 2016, that's when I actually started trading Forex. Now, remember, you guys, all of you guys who are watching here, you are not there. I was alone. That is why even today, I do things my way. I was alone. Always remember, nobody was there for me. None of you guys. You're only here because you know I've made it. That's just a reality. I've started uh, trading. Uh, I've read a bit that there is lot sizes, there is leverage and so forth. So I didn't really understand what I was doing. So what I did was that I would look at the market. When it goes up, I would buy. When it goes down, I would sell. You know? Now, I was using low, the lowest lot size, which is 0 0.01. Then I've seen it that with this lot size, I will not make money. So I increased my lot size without understanding the risks involved. You must always understand the risks involved when you invest your money. You will lose people. You will lose. And when you lose, you will be alone. Whether I'm your mentor or not, when you are losing, I'm, don't involve me. You must be alone. That is the truth. I was alone. Now I've seen it that this small lot sizes, I, I will not make money. So I increased my lot sizes. I went for 0 0.10 lot size 1. Now I was starting to make a bit of money. Now within two days, I've taken the account from 1,000 to 1,200 and something dollars. This simply means that I've actually made $200. Now I had an option of withdrawing my 15,000, right? So that I can be left with $200 so that I can trade with the broker's profits. But I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was greedy. I wanted to make money. I wanted to, to make money so bad, right? Now, uh, Thursday, I traded, I traded. I experienced uh, a couple of losses, but they were not uh, bad. So on Friday, on Friday, there was, I'm not sure, but yeah, there was something which was happening, something which was happening fundamentally. I think, I'm not sure if it was NFP or it was a CAD which comes with NFP normally. But something was happening. So I was on a trade before. I was on lot size 2, if I remember correctly. So I was sitting on a profit, right? Sitting on a profit. So when I was sitting on a profit, one heart told me that exit before half past 2. Remember, I didn't know what time to enter, what time to exit. But I just decided to, to know what, I, I just exited. Now, after I've exited, uh, half past two came. The direction that I've exist, exited based on, which was a cell, NFP went down. Meaning that had I not exited, I would have made money, right? But I've exited. So when I see the market going down, I entered with a cell. Lot size two, cell. And then I made little profit, like $200 fast. You know, NFP or, or, or CAD, how, how it behaves. It, everything is so fast. I increased lot size to lot size 5. And then when the second minute candlestick rejected, it went up. That was the last time my account was blown. Remember, I was alone. I've always been alone. I don't owe to help any of you guys. I will help where I can, but it's not a must for me to help you guys. Always remember that. In this life thing, you are always alone. In this success journey, you are always alone. Right? No matter who you look up to, you are always alone. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, my account was wiped. It was on negative. I've lost my 15,000. I've lost the little profit that I've made. 
You know what I did? The first thing that I did was to turn off the laptop. I turned off the laptop. I slept. But I couldn't sleep for like almost 30 minutes. I turned on the laptop. The honest truth is I've always thought what happened to me was a dream. I've turned on the laptop. I've opened the MetaTrader 4. The balance was zero. My money is not there. I've turned off the laptop. I thought maybe the laptop is crazy now. I've turned off, off the laptop. And I turned it on again. The balance was still zero. I, I, I've, it's like I've done it more than five times. Turning it off, turning it on. Thinking that there must be a mistake. There is no way I can lose 15,000. Just like that in seconds. There is no way. Then I said, you know what? Today was just a dream. When I wake up tomorrow, my money will be there. And then I will withdraw it. And then I will go pay school fees. Now, I had mentality. A mentality that now I'm willing to pay school fees. That simply means that a part of me knew that I'm in deep shit. I slept. The following day, in the morning, first thing that I did, I turned on the laptop with excitement. I don't know who I was trying to fool. When I checked uh, the balance on my, my, my thing, it was still zero. I checked account history. It shows that I've lost money. I've contacted the broker. I'm like, I don't understand what's going on. You guys are scams. You see, which is, which is, which is what's happening right now. Most people invest money they are not willing to lose in Forex. When they lose it, they start accusing mentors. They start accusing brokers. Where else they've actually done these activities without being emotionally ready. You know, you need to be like emotionally ready. Forex is not for weak people. Forex is not for the weak. If you know you are weak, you are emotional. Don't trade Forex. That's a fact. Get inspired. Go sell herbal life somewhere. Don't come in the industry if you are a crybaby. This industry will teach you to be a real man at the age of 17. You will, you will think like a real man. This industry. <laughs> now it's fine. Uh, I've contacted the broker saying there must be a mistake. They told me that there is no mistake. Bro, you lost money. You increased your lot size and you lost money. And now I had to come, come to life. I had to slowly come back to reality that, fuck, my mother's 20,000 is gone. Even though she knows that 15,000 was supposed to, to be for, for school fees. The other 5,000, I just scammed her so that I can take my girlfriend on a vacation. And don't you guys act like saints. You've lied to your family members taking girls out with their money. So I'm not the first guy to do this. Now I had to come to reality. Now I was going through depression, right? I was going through depression that, you know what? My life is fucked, guys. The varsity has taken me back. They've given me a last chance. And shit, I'm seeing shit. Like it's fucked up now. The only thing that's still going well in my life is my relationship. But everything else is, is fucked. Everything, nothing is going my way. What should I do? What must I do in this case? You know? And I told myself that, you know what? I'm going to take a break from trading. I'm going to, trade, to take a break from trading. So I took one week break without thinking about Forex or touching up touching anything related to forex you know i took about a week you know and the reason why this thing used to eat me a lot is was because my my my, my friend my best friend the one who introduced me to to forex he didn't know what i was going through i didn't tell anybody about it even my roommate didn't know that i was uh, going through depression you know it was it was more like it was a secret i was actually hiding it that i'm actually uh, going through a, a depression of some sort you know so people were unable to detect now as i'm thinking that okay um my birthday is next month right 
at that time. I was born on the 17th of May, and I'm talking about incidents which were happening in April, during the progress of April. And as I will be birthday next month, uh, you know what? I, I need to bring back my money. So I want people to understand. After losing my 15000 which was meant for school fees, which my parents believed or I paid school fees at that time, I decided that, you know what? Now I'm going to go back to Forex. I'm going to go back to Forex. But this time... I'm going back for knowledge, number one. This time, I'm going back to get my 15,000 back. That was my spirit at that time, you know. And at that time, I've, I've, I, I was desperately, I've desperately wanted to attend uh, Forex uh, classes, you know, from one of the, from any of the guys who were on top at that time, you know. But, problem was attend classes using which money because one thing i know for sure is that those guys were not gonna make me rich but they were gonna give me the knowledge that i need i can only make myself rich you can only make yourself rich nobody's going to make you rich so that's how i started developing the concept run after knowledge first and then money will follow you so that was me running after knowledge knowing that my fifteen thousand will follow me after so I've sat down and I said, you know what, what do I have? What do I have on the table? Now I need to, to do research about Forex. I need to understand uh, what I'm trading. Remember, at that time, people like Wo Sizwe Dlomo and these people who are talking nonsense about me or us as traders, they were not there. They are never there. When you're alone, they're never there. They come only after you make it, you know. I was alone, I remember. Now, uh, I wanted to talk to my girl about it. So I tried talking to her about it. And the words that came out of her mouth was that this thing of yours is a scam, you know. This thing of yours doesn't exist. There's no way you can make money on the phone. Hopozo, you need to stand up and go work like other men. And we had a dis disagreement. There, I'm like, ah, this thing is working. Uh, I can show you people who have made it in this thing. And she repeated her words. This thing is a scam. And I'm like, okay, fine. It's a scam. Sharp. I stopped talking to her about it from that moment. You see, that's how I was. If I know you are negative when it comes to the ideas or the hustling that I have, I'm going to cut you out of it. So I've cut her out of talking to her about forex you know of which i know there are guys right now who who are going through uh who are going through what i was going through you know your your, your partner doesn't support you in this trading thing but funny enough make money you will see the true colors of women but at that time it's fine so i started doing research the first thing was was to go on google you know what is forex market you know may, may just maybe if i have i have asked google that question first just maybe i wouldn't have lost my money so i was starting to blame myself you know that why didn't i do research about this thing so i found out what well, forex is just commonly a, 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 a an online market to put it in in that sense whereby you buy you buy and sell currencies foreign ex currencies to be precise a comparison of different countries who are fighting for power in a way more like american sa they're actually fighting which currency has more value than the other of which america uh, which is us dollar has more value than us so i found out about such things i didn't know and the second question i asked myself was that is forex legit and then i found my answers there uh, Google told me that Forex is legit. And then I asked myself why. So as I was reading more about it, I found out Hore, banks, you see banks, they are trading Forex. So how can something that's being traded by banks be a scam? You know? So I, I started developing interest. I'm like, okay, 
This thing is better than Pipcoin. This thing is better than Triple M. Because even banks are doing it. You know? And when I'm saying banks, I'm not referring to the small banks that you know. I'm talking about city banks. City bank, I mean. I'm talking about a Swiss bank. I'm talking about Butler's. You see, Butler's, uh, Butler's English Premier Soccer League or something like that. That one which has won Manchester United. The name, the term Butler's, I'm talking about that one. Butler's Bank. They're into Forex. I'm like, okay, so if big banks, they're into Forex, then it means that I'm on the right path. Then as I continued investigating, I found out that now this one was a selling point. This one was a selling point to me. I found out that foreign exchange market is actually in the Bible. Like the Bible that you know, Forex is in the Bible. Now that one was a selling point. You see, from that moment and onwards, I didn't need my girlfriend to convince me that uh, Forex is for real. I didn't need my parents to convince me that Forex is for... I didn't need anybody, a celebrity or anyone. For as long as it's in the Bible. For as long as it's in the Bible. It's there in the Bible. The letter. The letter for Forex. Remember, Bible has different versions, right? The letter for Forex is Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 1 to 6. It states that invest your money in foreign exchange. Because one of these days you'll make profit, right? When you make profit, invest your profit in several places because you can never know the kind of bad luck you will have in this world. From after reading that, that, that verse, I was actually reading it from, from Google, right? Before I could see it from a real Bible. Therefore, you are coming to me now as a celebrity. You think you know it all and you're telling me that Forex is a scam. Fuck you. You are coming to me as an individual. You are telling me that Forex is a scam. Fuck you. Fuck everyone who's saying Forex is a scam because it's in the Bible. That shit is in the Bible, dog. Say, put it correctly and say Forex traders and not all. Certain Forex traders are scammers. Then I will agree with you. Don't say Forex is a scam. There we will fight. You and I will fight and I will bring Jesus in the fight. It means that you will be fighting against me and Jesus now. Because I believe God was not stupid when he put it in the Bible. Right? It's in the Bible. So if you are saying that Forex that's in the Bible is a scam. Scam go mau. I can need scam go mau. I can go with Jamaica. Urengi. It's a scam when it's in the Bible. Scam go mau. Scam go tikitatao. Scam is your mother in case you are in an international land. Scam is your father. Because this thing is a Bible. Rather say, certain Forex traders are scammers. Therefore, I won't argue with you because you have your reasons. Right? So that's how I got to develop this passion for trading. You know? That's why even today, nobody can ever tell me anything that's going to make me leave the industry. Nobody. You can bring them one by one. Billionaires, trillionaires, employees. One, no one. It's in the Bible. In the name of Jesus. Can I get an amen, please? Can I get an amen in the name of Jesus? Now.